Hi guys! So today's story time is going to be about the cruise that I took in 2011 where I accidentally smuggled in a few hundred crabs um, from the Bahamas, like from the Disney Island, into the United States. So like let me just preface this whole story with this cruise was not my shining moment okay like is it like oh my god I am the worst person you could ever go on a cruise with I'm never gonna go on another cruise again just because I suck at cruising like how can you be bad at that like how the fuck are you bad at that you'd be amazed I found some ways the second night there I set off the fire alarm in our little cruise room and let me just say, the Disney fire alarm, happiest thing in the world. It just plays a song. I didn't even know that there was an emergency. I just thought that happy things were happening. It's like, wow, what's that music? Like, way to go, Disney. It was the best way to signal an emergency ever. But anyway, beside the point, different story, different day. So it was the day after that, like, I've just done this, and it's the day after that, when we got to go to the Disney Island. And... It was really cool and um, they've got like a whole kids area and then they've got like the adult like serenity beach so i went into the adult section just because even though the kids section had a really really cool water slide i was like you know what I'm never gonna go to the Bahamas again probably like i'm gonna enjoy this like go relax whatever and so i just start picking up shells because i mean that's like my dad and my like my dad and i excuse me can i talk apparently not but anyway and my dad and I, we've always gone, like, looking for shells since I was small. It's just our thing. It's our, like, bonding beach thing. I don't know. So, I just start doing, like, any beach I'm at now. So, I'm going around just looking for shells. And they have really pretty shells in the Bahamas. Like, it was stuff that I've never seen in the United States before. And they're, like, this big. And they're rainbow colors. And they've got, like, stripes. Like, very geometrical. Like, perfect stripes, though. And they're like, I mean, they're all different colors. It was gorgeous. So they were beautiful. Like, I love them. And so I'm just like going around picking them up. And I probably picked up between my dad and myself. And we didn't look for very long. We picked up, I would say, a minimum of 300. Like, at least. And like, let me just say that any time you go, like, from a Bahamas, like, an island on the Bahamas, into the cruise ship. They check you to make sure that you're not bringing any illegal shit onto the cruise ship. Okay? Like, they check you. And the person who checked us was from the Bahamas. Why didn't he stop me? Like, why didn't he know? But anyway, not his fault, my fault. Like, no one else has probably ever done this. I don't know. But anyway, so... I get the shells and he was like oh what are those and so I showed him he was like oh cool like beautiful shells go on into the cruise ship I was like oh thanks like have a nice day da, 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 da. and so you know we hung out on the cruise ship like put the shells in my room whatever and it wasn't like until probably five or six hours later we were getting ready to go eat dinner and um it was just like me and my little brother in the room like I'm changing um and all of a sudden, like, I hear this rustling sound. And he's in, like, the other part of the room. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. And I called my little brother. I was like, oh, my gosh, do you hear this? And he was like, sis, come on now. Like, you're being crazy. You're being weird. There's no rustling sounds. Like, you're fine. And I was like, no. Like, come here and listen. He looks at me, he was like, oh no. We look on the dresser where we have the shells, and they're in like a Ziploc bag, like that big, like that big. And like, again, at least 300 of them. And the entire bag is scooting itself like across the dresser. Scooting itself across the dresser. And I look at him, and I was like, oh no. They're all alive. What do we do? We've got to save them. Like, what do we do? Like, I can't believe I'm going to kill all these hermit crabs. I'm going to get in trouble for illegally smuggling shit into the U.S. Like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So we go get my dad, and I was like, Dad, we've got to save them. And he was like, all right, let's calm down a little bit. We can't do anything about it right now because we have to go eat dinner. There's nothing that you can actually really do in this moment. And he was like, I spent a long time looking for shells, so why don't we just leave them, and they'll, like, die. I can't do that. I can't do that. 
I uprooted these hermit crabs from probably the happiest place in the Bahamas, a Disney island. That's not the happiest place in the world. Put them in a Ziploc bag and I'm just supposed to let them suffocate and starve to death? I can't do that. And so he's like, well, what, what do you think we should do? Like, what is your idea? And I was like, okay, why don't we just try to like relocate them into the ocean? Did I mention that this was not my shining moment? Because it really wasn't. So I find like all the ones that I can see like moving around, like see their little heads and stuff poking out. And I take them like onto the balcony. And we're about a hundred feet up, I would say, like minimum, um, where the room was, like at least. And we just go like dropping them like into the ocean, like as gently as we can. And we do it, we do it, like we keep going and dad and my little brother, they're just like, you know what? There's no more wrestling sounds, like you saved them. They're gonna be fine, like way to go. And I was like, are you sure? Like, you're really not just telling me this because you know I'm gonna be heartbroken if I've killed these things. And they're like, no, no, like none of them are alive. Like there's no more wrestling, like you're fine. I was like, okay. So we went to dinner and I was fine. Like I still felt really, really, really bad because again, I uprooted living creatures from the Disney Island. What's wrong with me? I don't even know, I don't even know. So we go and we go through the United States customs and like bless them, they're like, oh, pretty shells, like what da 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 and like we go on through. Wake up people, like shells have creatures in them. Maybe don't let people go on with them. Like, I don't even know. I don't know how you would check with that. Like, I'm not hating on customs. I'm mostly hating on me. But, like, how did I get in with that? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's terrifying. Anyway, so it was maybe, like, two months later. And my little brother and my dad, they were like, hey, you know how on the cruise ship we told you that, like, there wasn't any more wrestling? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, yeah, we lied. And you know how you thought you were doing a good thing by relocating them into the ocean? I was like, uh-huh. And they're like, Yeah you realize that you dropped hermit crabs like a hundred feet into the middle of the ocean and you think they lived and I was like oh my god and realize that I've been feeling guilty about this for like the whole two months anyway uh, like really not my shining moment like what an understatement but anyway I hope you all are having a beautiful beautiful day if you like this video like, like it, subscribe, like, I have no idea what to say to y'all, like, I don't even, like, I have, like, four videos, do you know what I mean? I don't know. Subscribe, please, I don't know. Anyway, and I'm really sorry, PETA, and I'm really sorry, United States Customs, I did not mean to, but they're not alive anymore, and I feel like dirt. Love you guys, and always remember, keep it classy.